Okay, welcome back. This is part 10 of my complete file upload uh, website, or upload site tutorial series. And uh, in the last video, we started creating our login page. And we have a simple little box right here with our logo. And so I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. And uh, like I said at the end of the last tutorial, we're going to be using pretty much the exact same script uh, that is currently available, that is currently in play on my login tutorial. So you can follow that tutorial and check out the entire script. But we're just going to recode everything right here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in an if statement. So move my mouse. So our if statement is going to say uh, is going to make sure that the login button has been uh, clicked. So we're going to say if dollar sign underscore post now, when you type in POST, it must be in all caps. And then we're going to type in brackets. These are not curly brackets. Uh, they're the same keys as the curly brackets, except you're not pressing SHIFT. So in here, put your quotation marks. And we're going to say LOGIN BUTTON. So if I go back to the index page real quick and scroll up, you can see that I named the LOGIN BUTTON, the SUBMIT BUTTON, I named it login button. So whatever you named yours, uh, you have to put the name of it right here. So, so we have our login button. So we're going to say if login button. So if the login button has been pressed. Now we're also going to put in an else, and we're going to say if the login button hasn't been pressed. So if the login button hasn't been pressed, we're going to echo our form dollar sign form. Now we haven't created this form variable yet, so I'm going to come above the if statement. I'm going to create a variable called form. I'm going to set it equal to nothing. Whoop, to nothing at the moment. So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go to the index page, and I am going to copy this entire form from oh sorry from start to finish right here. Everything right there. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it inside of our form variable. So I'm going to save. So if we simply go back to our index page, and if I go to login.php, you can see our form is now displayed. Now our form is displayed because we obviously have not clicked our login button. So, um, so also it's kind of all the way over here, which we want it centered right in the middle. So, well, that's what centered is. So we're going to put a style on our form style equals and because this is inside of uh, double quotation marks because it's a variable uh, we're going to use single quotation marks for our style right here and we're going to say style equals margin dash left colon uh, auto semicolon and then margin dash right colon auto semicolon save and if we refresh and uh, it's not working hmm uh, oh put on the form we need to put our style on our table so yeah so there we go we have it uh, centered now um, but there's just this massive massive space down here uh, so I'm going to put a little bit of margin on the top so inside of here margin dash top or better yet instead of putting margin on the top of our form we'll put padding on the inside of our login box so we'll put padding of 8 pixel or er, 10 pixels on every side so if you simply type in padding and then however much padding you want and you don't specify a side as such as left right top bottom if you don't specify a side then it'll automatically just put it for everywhere so if we refresh see now we have 10 pixels right here and I made an error ah right there so there we go so now there's uh, 10 pixel padding everywhere on here so now what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to go to the layout that's CSS 
and where we put a height, I'm going to change height to min dash height. Now this is putting on a minimum height, and I'm just going to set this to 100. So the reason we're doing this is because we have this giant extra space, and if we refresh, now there's a lot less space, and there's still a lot less, so I'm going to put it to 50. Uh, oh, I set that to 500. So by putting a minimum space, um, it simply just means that we're going to expand this box for however large or however large our content inside is. So when we display errors right above our form, it's just going to increase the width of the box. Um, so that's, this is how you set the minimum height or the width of a box or anything for that matter. You simply just type in min dash and then whatever you want it for. So right here, so we have our login. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our source code and when we check to make sure our login button is pressed, we're also going to run a check to make sure that the uh, <clears throat> the uh, username box, or I'm sorry, we're not running a check. Ooh. We're not running a check yet. We need to get our username and password values. So we're going to store them in uh, v uh, variables, and we're going to call them user and password. So our user variable is going to be equal to dollar sign underscore post. And now once again, your posts must be in all caps, and then your brackets, just like this. Um, and in here we have username, I believe it's called. Yeah, it's called username. And so if you want, you can just copy and paste this, change both of these to password. So right here, we've gotten our username and we've gotten our password. Now I'm going to put in the check, and we're going to say if dollar sign username, uh, two and signs, yes, two and signs right there, it's not a mistake right there, there's two, and then dollar sign password. And then our brackets. 